Yo, what up, what up, fam? My name is Wilson. Welcome to the channel where I talk about all things food delivery. What I'm going to do in this video, guys, is I'm going to give you guys a quick pros and cons on the brand new 2024 Honda ADV 160. Uh, I just got this baby. I barely got 262 miles on her. I got her with one mile on her. I only had one mile because the mechanic went around the block, made sure everything was cool. And uh, I've got this. I got her specifically for food deliveries. I have a big checklist of things that I would like and not like on a scooter for it to be ideal for food deliveries. Now I'm not a super te uh, mechanic tech guy, like a well, mechanical guy. I really don't know too much about scooters. I'm still learning. But what I'm gonna do in this video. I just give you guys a list of pros that I of some features that stood out to me and why I decided to get this particular scooter for food deliveries and I'm gonna give you a few uh, things that I did not like about it so that's what I'm gonna do in this video I mean I've only I've only just got it but this will kind of give you guys a good idea of some of the cool things that this scooter has that are an advantage for uh, uh, food deliveries I've done about 18,000 deliveries. I've been doing this for like five, seven years. I don't even know, like it's been a while. And I've, I've ridden bikes, e-bikes, scooters, cars, uh, you name it. I've, I've been to big cities, Los Angeles, San Francisco, San Diego, Sacramento, blah, blah, all that. So I got a little bit of knowledge and um, just to give you a little background there. Anyway, uh, that's it, Let me let's get right into it. Thanks for joining. Uh, thanks for watching the video, guys. Thanks for joining. Um, like the video. Uh, ask me any questions if y'all want. Oh uh, yeah. Anyway, let's get right into it. Hopefully, I'm not. I'm not gonna make this video too long. So I'm just gonna go right in. Number one thing, Honda, baby. I had to go with Honda because Honda is a reliable brand, trusted by a lot of people. Um, got a good reputation very strong brand name I've owned Hondas I have the Honda Element the car I've had the Honda Ruckus I've owned like four Ruckuses and I love those things I've owned like maybe three Hondas in my lifetime I cannot say so enough good things about them I love Hondas so it's a re it's, it's a reliable brand that's boom that's number one number two or not number two, respectfully, I'm just gonna throw them out there because I was just brainstorming these things earlier. LEDs, I, the LEDs, damn, they're so bright and they look sexy too. Um, check it out, this is the low beams. These are the high beams. But yeah, they got LEDs, super bright. I had the lot, the, the scooter I had before this was a Yamaha Zuma and the stock lights are garbage. I had to swap them out. They were kind of expensive. The good, the good thing about the a a v ADV comes with them in this model. All right, next thing. Oh yeah, so this scooter has this handlebar. You know, a lot of scooters they're like very, they're they're filled with plastic, and you don't got enough room to put accessories. And it's very important because when you do food delivery, you need a lot of things to put on here wireless phone holder i got my navigator here i got my dash cam remote here i need space on the handlebars so that's a plus here's another cool thing that this thing has it has a windshield and that it comes with already stock and it's adjustable windshield has a lot of benefits helps the air kind of go around you instead of like hitting you makes it more aerodynamic and um, it helps when you're going at fast speeds. So this is one thing that it, it comes with it already. Looks kind of, looks very slick. You could always change it, get any after uh, aftermarket ones. But this is one uh, this is one of those pointers that really helped me choose this thing. Here's another good thing. I did a step up from uh, my uh, Yamaha Zuma. The Yamaha Zuma is a 125 cc, and although that thing can do 67 miles an hour top speed basically highway speeds it isn't legal to take on the highway this baby however at least in the state of california you need to have 150 cc or higher 
in order to go on the highway this bad boy can do it this thing's at 160 cc's technically it's like at a 156 158 somewhere around there but it is technically 100% legal plus it gives you access to basically all the roads in California or any other highway in the United States unless uh, the laws are different in other states but California is very strict I'm pretty sure we could do it here you could do it in most any other state okay here's another one since we drive these things a lot we lane split them we get through tight corners we're maneuvering them u-turns and all that and something that i look for look make sure that the scooter is is light I, I cannot have a big heavy scooter it wouldn't be ideal for this hustle we move around we drive around way too much we go we park on on hills we get through these tight spots and you know we're, we're constantly getting on and off them we need something that's easier to maneuver and this scooter actually feels lighter than my yamaha zuma which is surprising because this thing's like 10 pounds heavier but it feels like 30 pounds heavier and that has to do a lot because a lot of the weight it's in the bottom very low to the ground so that's a huge plus man if you guys ride this thing you guys are going to just feel that thing like whoa this thing is super easy to uh navigate Th that was a, a huge thing that that uh made me kind of lean towards this one uh and of course with food delivery we're constantly like you know going through our phone check uh, like moving things selecting things navigator uh sending quick texts or phone calls and we use our phone a lot so with this being automatic is just perfect we can focus on the phone the road everything else as aside from clutch having to switch gears it just makes it just takes a lot off off, off your off your shoulders and you can just concentrate more on the road so you all day you can just ride this thing on automatic so not that i ridden clutch or gears i mean i don't i know how to ride them a little bit i trained with them in my class but i could just imagine what it would be like to do all day so i'm not talking from experience on that one i'm just saying it's automatic so that frees up my hands and i, don't, I just one thing one less thing i have to worry about amongst the hundreds of things that i have to do So as you know with food deliveries sometimes we got to jump off the curve sometimes we got to go off some rough terrain sometimes we just got to do some go over some center dividers sometimes we got to jump off cliffs or hit some big ramps to go over an obstacle this thing has great suspension it's meant to be an adventure ride it's meant for you to just take it anywhere and that's what st that's what stood out to me so i'm like if this thing is meant to be an adventure bike it's going to be able to handle the everyday terrain that we go through we're usually on the road but just in case we step out of the road this bad boy can uh handle it the shoda showa i never even heard of those shocks but i read that they're very comfortable so i kept an eye on it and then once i wrote it, wrote it i like tried it out I, and i compared it to my zuma because that's the other the, the last scooter i had what a huge difference super nice ride very comfortable i hit bumps that used to be very bumpy before now it's a lot smoother you could hardly even like notice it that's a huge thing and the reason why that's important because we put food in the backpack back here so we have drinks in there soups pho, or you know uh, desserts we want a bike that doesn't jump up so much the more it bumps the, the more it can mess food up so that was one huge thing not only is it going to be more comfortable for the rider it's going to be better for all the food we carry so that was a huge huge plus with this bike it was a no-brainer when it came to the suspension i drove it off the curve the other day or earlier today actually 
I just came off and it's just, it just I just kind of laugh at how how smooth the front tire get like feels like when you get off the curb and the back one obviously you kind of just slowly let the tire drop so smooth these things have great gas uh, mileage uh, I filled it up only once so far and the first time it was filled up it was filled up by the shop but I think I was at a hundred and fifty something miles and it was like at the last bar it has a meter here that tells you the uh, miles per your average consumption is like 88 miles a gallon right now the way that I've been riding it 88 miles is great for a 160 it, it cost me about nine dollars to fill up and it has two gallons of gasoline so that means I can for for nine bucks mind you we have the most expensive gas in the US one of the most expensive it's like how much was it right now like five six dollars a gallon so that was like five gallons like five dollars a gallon it cost me nine bucks to fill it up and with those nine bucks it's gonna give me 150 to 160 miles per hour before I have to fill it up again now I could push it I'll probably get like 170 180 but you don't want this thing to run out of gas that's a whole day's work right there for nine bucks you could work all day and make two three four five hundred dollars whatever it may be for nine bucks it's a deal it's great another thing about this bike that I really like it is super comfortable the posture that I'm in I'm like sitting upright uh, the seats very low I think it's like 30.1 inches I'm 5'7 and I could flat foot it at the red light which is great if you I didn't realize how comfortable it is when you could actually flat foot it I used to do it with my records I forgot about it because with the Zuma I cannot flat foot it I'm kind of tippy toeing and now that I got this one now that I could flat foot it, it just feels great like it's, it's comfortable and then when I'm riding it I, today I've been riding since 9 in the morning it is 8 o'clock I'm I've literally almost been riding 11 hours and I have no discomfort I it, it feels it feels cool it's been a great ride um, you have a lot of uh, leg room you have two positions you could put your feet in here or here uh, you can stand up too if you like this you can put your foot back back far enough so that if you see a big bump or whatever you can get off the scooter if you like that kind of like eases you from getting hitting too many impacts like on big bumps you could just do that throughout the day i mean if you're going to be on it all day you want to just kind of raise your feet up kind of like on a bicycle if you're going to hit a speed bump you kind of get up a little bit so you don't like take all the impact that's pretty bad for your back so that's a plus all right i love it's got a keyless fob so this thing you don't need you don't need to use a key to turn this on you just get near it and you just hit twist this little button here and, and you here I'll, I'll do it here um, you just bring this close you, you, I usually just have this on my belt you come close you push this and then you turn it to on turn it on and you go simple as that and um, here you could use the steering wheel lock oh I didn't even add this to the actual list but steering wheel lock look how easy it was very important we're getting in and out of the scooter all day long you make it a habit to lock the steering wheel that way no one just rolls away with this thing especially on hills man if someone sees your scooter on the hill and the steering wheel is like that that's a free scooter so it has a steering wheel um, security thing and the wireless key fob this thing's got a built-in USB and two things here two, it has a USB connection here that you could charge your phone up you could just run a cable here and, and, and charge your phone all day and there's a storage compartment in here you could probably fit a water bottle in here some sunglasses I have my power bank here it's only for right now I won't have it there all, all ten, uh, like normally because that's an expensive thing you don't want anyone to steal it since it's easily accessible and it doesn't look like you can lock it that storage compartment is pretty cool oh here's another one 
with food delivery it is ideal to have a center stand because whenever you park the vehicle you want your backpack to be leveled you don't want it tilting to the side you know you don't want it you want to be able to like have it like this so you can organize all your food in there without things uh, spilling over I got used to the center stand this has the side stand and the center stand but for food deliveries man the center stand is like a must and it comes equipped with it you got best of both worlds side stand center stand all right so here's one thing that my zuma didn't have that the ruckus did have that i missed it's got a rear brake lock so that means you can lock the rear brake and this is useful for when let's say you're waiting on, uh, on a red light up a hill and you want to do something real quick let like me reach for a usb cable or grab your sunglasses and you need both hands if you let go of the brakes you're going to start slowly rolling backwards so that's when this bad boy comes in you lock the brakes and then you could do your do your thing so this thing won't roll back and hit the prius behind you you can just like lock your brake in. That's a big one that I was missing and I didn't realize I missed it till I needed it. Such a great feature. All right, we talked about the storage department uh, par compartment. Here's one really cool thing that I didn't even know, but it has. See that right there? That's the honk. The honk is exposed it is loud it is really loud you know you guys know that when we're driving out doing food deliveries there's all these drivers that just do not see you they're distracted they're texting or they're gonna crash right into you they're gonna turn into your lane oh loud honk is a must you have to be heard because you're rarely seen honk is very important so this thing has a very loud honk such a great feature super awesome i love it uh the honk on the zuma was literally inside here it was inside the plastic thing so it kind of muffled the sound it wasn't as loud as it should have been that was a little disappointing but this one nothing's blocking it it's fully exposed so all the audio waves just go out there and um let your person know that you're there and um i guess this is the last thing that i that i could uh, point out i just brainstormed this today if i miss stuff i'll make a video in the future but here's one huge thing this thing comes with abs anti-braking system that is so that you don't skid when you're trying to break so you know if something suddenly comes in front of you your immediate reaction is to hit the brakes really hard without anti-brakes your, your brakes can lock and you can skid and if you skid, that's no good because your ass just keeps going. You don't stop. Anti brakes kind of like stops, lets go of the tire, stops, lets go of the tire. It does that like super fast, and that's so the tire can uh, can keep grip on the ground, and you don't skid. Literally can save your life. For as much as we ride, ABS is like such a great thing to have on your scooter boom abs uh yeah so so far that's the things that i oh here's one thing that i know i just thought of that i uh didn't think of uh putting in the in the list it has space for a rack some scooters are so weird back here you don't have room for a rack so that's one frustrating thing that i noticed when i was shopping out for scooters i'm like it's a great scooter but where am I going to put the rack? It's like really weird back there and it's, it just looks like it won't be able to happen. This has accessories. I actually just clamped this thing on to this. This is just something that I did quickly because I don't have the rack. The rack already arrived. I'm going to put it on tonight. But, you know, I just clamped this thing on to the, the passenger holder where the passenger hangs on. <clears throat> and I've been using it like this for the past three days works great has enough room for a rack 
all right guys well those are a few cool things so cool few features about the scooter that made me kind of decide on getting it and that i've kind of discovered along the way and i got to give you some cons there are a few and i was really trying to think of some and uh, this is all i could come up with right for now i mean if i come up with other things later i will for sure add them to the list but here's the number one the adv 160 2004 only comes in this color unfortunately so you're very limited i wanted to get an all black one so i couldn't find it so i had to buy this one it looks okay i kind of like the color obviously i can keep it it'll grow on me but for me to paint it is going to be hard which brings me to my next con this thing has way too much plastic i am not a fan of motorcycles with way too much plastic the ruckus was a naked bike like it just ha it had very little plastic the zuma that's when i was like yeah i don't like this kind of stuff all the little plastic parts are just a pain in the ass to get to um to put on my accessories i spent six hours trying to take all this out not lose a screw and then put everything back together it took forever to put all the wiring in there it's a nightmare too much plastic i wish it could have just not had so much but i get it they want to make it aerodynamic and it's just part of the fuel efficiency and the style and the looks and all that and it's the easiest most economic way they can do it plastic so but i'm just not a huge fan of that so that's a con on this on this um on this on the scooter another one is uh oh yeah i didn't even know this when i bought it so i did say it has abs in the front then i showed it by the bike to my friend and then he's like wait it has a drum brake in the back i'm like oh snap it does it's got a drum brake break so it's got like this state-of-the-art technology in the front and then you go back in time with the drum brake i don't know why they did it that way but i found myself just using the front brake it's very effective the back one i don't even use it that much but anyway I, I, that's a con i was like wait why didn't they just put a disc brake back there oh well it is that way for a reason i don't know maybe it was more economic maybe it didn't have any room who knows but i guess that's a bit of a con right i would have would like disc brakes on both sides all right guys my battery kind of died there so it might have cut off but anyway the last thing that i can say about this that i would have like th that's a con that i didn't like too much is it's a scooter scooters are supposed to have step throughs right this one has a little step through check it out it's almost as high as the seat so in order to get on this thing you gotta like throw your foot up there and then to get off you gotta throw your foot over there it's, it, i mean i have i'm not used to it i'm used to the step through just throw my feet over it's just like it's, it's just get on the platform and that's it this one is gonna take me some time to get used to also a step through when you have all this space here it works like an additional storage compartment so you can like put stuff there especially when you get heavy things to carry like 12 packs of water or 24 packs of water my nemesis god damn those things are heavy sodas I, I don't know just dog food just all these crazy things they give you this is like a perfect place to put it unfortunately that space is gone with this scooter doesn't have a huge space and a step through you're limited to this i have yet to use this yet but i know it's going to come in handy at least there's something here because there's some scooters that completely just eliminate it like motorcycles don't even have that at all it's not even an option so i'm a little grateful that there's at least a little something here which i have yet to try we will find out anyways guys i only have 262 miles on it just getting started i just wanted to point out a few things that that are little features and things about the scooter that I think are important when you when you're thinking about getting this specifically for food deliveries so far i love the scooter there's a little adjustments that i gotta make a few things to get used to 
but it's been a great it's been a great experience so far i gotta take care of the maintenance and stay on top of it if you guys want to see more videos uh, or watch me like do deliveries in action check out the channel i have a lot of videos of that uh, most of my videos are unedited um, i just kind of record post them up this video i'm probably just going to take off all the ums and uhs and and all the pauses just so it could be a quick video hopefully it's not too long i'll be talking a shitload so but yeah i hope you guys enjoy the video guys if you guys have any questions about it or if i left anything out or if i got something wrong go ahead and drop it in the comments aside from that i'm probably gonna do one more one or two more deliveries and then head home all right guys thank you guys for watching i'll catch you guys on the next video peace all right let's get out of here Let's go. Yeah, boy. <laughs> uh, let's follow the law now. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm going to I'm I'm test out those LEDs right now. Oh, yeah. Let me put my phone over here. All right, guys. Later.